Also developing right now, the mayor of Orange County wanted a decision today on who would get that tourism tax money. But that did not happen. Fox 35's Manny Martinez is joining us live in Orlando. Manny, good evening. They just can't agree out there, can they? No, they can't, Luann. Good evening to you. Demings, the comptroller and county staff, they all faced questions from some of the other board members who ultimately decided that they wanted to hold another work session to get a little more information before any votes. But one thing that I'm clear on is that we as commissioners have not been giving enough information to make a, a well-informed decision. We haven't give, been given enough time. And Orange County Commissioner Michael Scott is not alone in requesting more review time. County leaders are trying to decide what to do with tourist development tax revenue. It's generated by a 6% tax on each hotel booking in the county. And county Comptroller Phil Diamond estimates tax revenues will top $350 million this year, which would beat last year's record by roughly 4%. It's amazing historically how fast we've experienced the very best and the very worst. But Diamond says tourism tax revenues are volatile and urges conservative funding allotments after three straight months of declining tourism tax revenues. Mayor Jerry Deming says his nearly billion dollar proposal takes Diamond's advice. We must live within our financial means. Get the biggest return on these investments and take care of the entire community. His plan would give the Orange County Convention Center $500 million, Camping World Stadium $400 million, $75 million to the Application Review Committee, $5.5 million to Arts and Cultural Affairs, and about a half million to the Sports Incentive Fund. The mayor's plan includes two of the task force's top five picks for funding, and Deming's proposal plans for what it calls a conservative debt capacity of $900 million spread over 30 years instead of the usual 20. Commissioner Myra Uribe shares her disagreements with the mayor's plan. My top number one is the 20, 30 year bond because you're talking about $200 billion in extra interest, whether you break it up by 10 years or not. My number two, honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and say it is financially being responsible for a city of Orlando venue through Camping World. And there's just got to be accountability. There's got to be data. I want to know what the convention center really costs and how did they come up with that number. Deming says his plan is flexible and could account uh, for some funding for some of the groups that he left out this go-around in this draft if those TDT revenues come back higher than expected. And that TDT-specific meeting that the commissioners decided on, a date for that, still has yet to be set. Live in Orlando, Manny Martinez, Fox 35 News.